I want to show you guys the contents of this tactical trauma kit that I got from Elite First Aid at a gun show yesterday. Um, let's actually go through this uh, list of contents that we've got first. Um, first of all, actually, this one was uh, uh, this is the lot 0411 that expires 12 2013. So some of the stuff that's in this this uh, this kit um, have expiration dates. I would imagine things like um, ammonia inhalant, uh, the BZK chloride wipes, and things like that that have that have chemicals in it will expire. Um, obviously, things like the shears and the tweezers, uh, those things you would uh, keep as you replace different parts of this kit when things expire. So let's go with. Uh, the top, uh, one blood stopper kit, one four inch cohesive bandage, I got six four inch by four inch sterile sponge, 16 batch strip three inch by one inch, uh, one five inch by nine inch abdominal pad, one burn gel, uh, first aid instructions, which is nice to have if. Uh, uh, if you're the person who knows how to, how to administer first aid, but you're the person who happens to be hurt, uh, that instruction will uh, help whoever needs to administer it to you, or vice versa. Then we'll see how thorough that is. I haven't opened it yet. Uh, stainless tweezers, EMT shears, six safety pins, one pair of latex gloves, four pain reliever for ammonia inhalants, six BZK chloride wipes, one triangular bandage, five butterfly closure, and um, one strip of tape. This is uh, designated as a trauma kit level one, so it's not going to have everything that you need. <clears throat> and this is more for sort of um, wounds. Um, in order for this to be more of an overall well-rounded first aid kit, you're going to have to add some more stuff in here. Which this is packed pretty full, but there's definitely room to get more things in. Uh, so let's open it up and see how, uh, how it looks. Well, first of all, let's look at the, this uh, this bag here. This feels like a really high grade uh, nylon, uh, possibly a thousand denier nylon. And I believe, even though it doesn't say, it, it might say on the inside that this is a, a Voodoo tactical bag. What well, gives it away? For me, anyways, it's this uh, these uh, Molly webbing in the back. They typically have um, a lot of extra webbing near the top. But we'll open that up and we'll check it out. And these are uh, seems to be good quality zippers. I'm guessing they're probably YKK. When you first open it up, there's this loose uh, Ziploc bag in here that's got the uh, the pain relievers, acetaminophen, aspirin, uh, some bandages, band-aids, and uh, these are the ammonia inhalants. Uh, that's the strip of tape. So that's in a little bag by itself that's loose. Uh, as you open it, yep, that's it. This is a Voodoo Tactical bag. So. I don't know exactly which bag this is on their website, but you could probably go look at the Voodoo Tactical website and see what these go for. Seems to be real good quality. Um, it opens up and it's and it's retained by these uh, these elastic bands. So if you're wearing it on your on your chest or on your vest, um, it's not going to open up and fall out completely, which is good. Although you can still stretch it open so you can get into things that are sort of buried down below like this. I have like this up with adhesive latex bandage. It's a decent sized roll of it. And uh, the tweezers are kept up here. Underneath some more elastic bands that are sewn into the bag. And this is the blood stopper gauze. Here is the EMT shears.
here we have the his first aid instructions that talks about let's see the essential brief essentials of first aid position of victim airway choking cardiac arrest bleeding shock poisoning burns fracture sprains and dislocations heat exhaustion and heat stroke cold exposure hypothermia seizures and diabetes um, I don't know if this kid has everything to be able to be able to uh, take care of all these issues but it certainly will give you an idea of what to do if you're not trained in first aid and you have to act for uh, for the injured that's kind of nice to have um, here in the back of the bag here what we've got are more bandages Okay, put that aside. Now let's go to the front. In this pocket, we've got this abdominal pad, latex gloves, and the triangular bandage. The only thing left in here is this tweezer that we saw earlier. That's it. That is the contents of the trauma kit number one from EliteFirstAid.com.